Hey guys, it is Rose over here, and today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you the latest beta. So, what's new in this beta? No, wait, what? This isn't a beta. This is. I don't know how much it is actually at the moment. A certain amount of hidden features in iOS 10. I did a video on this um, for iOS 9, and it was pretty good it was successful and i enjoyed making it and i enjoy pointing you out on some facts very first thing there is which some of these are not as hidden as others so the very first thing is photo search so when you're in photos you can search for stuff like dog and when you search for dog it will show images of dogs oh or you can search for water when i search for water stuff like this comes up and it scans all your photos and finds things of water this is from my pokemon go video very interesting and next thing is in the clock app it first of all has a dark theme all throughout this app which we thought they were hinting a new theme but unfortunately it's just in the one app hopefully this comes out soon in ios 10 but there's a new bedtime alarm so when you're in here you set like which days of the week you want this to be when you want it to remind you like how many minutes before your wake up sound which is heaps of new ones like i don't even need to show you um there's volume which is cool bananas yeah so the alarms are really cool like that is so loud and yeah you choose like when to when and how many hours of sleep you get it, you try and get it in between the bars and it, yeah, it analyzes your sleep and it's supposed to be more helpful. The next thing is in photos, you can now mark up photos. And actually I saw this on some of the bigger YouTubers things, but I found it out the second the beta was released. I went into here and it's like you go into your extra settings here and there's a markup like you can with email so you can be like, well I want to say like, 802 uh let's make this big and make it do it oh so that's that's the new feature in here so game center has been removed look at this when i search in game center Center. It, it's it's not there and you can't even find it in the app store so they've totally removed it it was a bit of a fail from apple so it made sense <laughs> see it now has weather if you can see in this bottom corner here it now shows the weather of temperatures and things so it's very helpful now in maps and i'm glad that it does this and let's see if this will load up for us so it will show like how good the air is and it's like something helpful for all those Beijingies trying to go outside for a play and you know it's not loading up for us but you can see yourself now that it's come out now when you're entering a password there's a caps lock indicator and you know what? I'm not gonna unblur this for all you sneaky sneaky people out there can't have you knowing my passwords but it has a caps lock indicator which is pretty good Siri now knows what your battery percent is how much battery have I got your iPod is at 89% wow I didn't know that actually I didn't so that's how you know on something like an iPod where it doesn't actually show you your battery Thing, and it will tell you the exact percent you're at which is so much better than everything else until a video came out telling everyone about it but in, there's a new thing called color filters you can see all these things it's like well it's red orange turn on your color filters and you're like crazy girl red green filter so all of like the colorblind things so i hope these actually help people like intensity less intensity it's 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 pretty dope in my opinion and i hope it's used well when you're downloading something in safari there's a new look i can't show you I have no wi-fi 
Not really. So there's a dark mode in the UI and you know what? I haven't added it in. It's it's coded in and it's like <sighs> when you have a contact, let's say you have John and they're an emergency. There's now a bypass for emergencies. See here? Emergency bypass allows sounds and vibrations from this person even when do not disturb is on. So it's for people that you will, that you need them if yeah. Sorry. Okay, the next feature is gonna activate within 30 seconds from now. This feature is the new alarm mode. And it's an option to stop the alarm, which you'll see any second now. Hurry up, alarm. <sighs> there we go. See, it says stop down there. I'm going to stop it because it is loud as heck. And yeah, so that's the new option to stop the alarm. I better start off. That's good. So when you're in messages and you are speaking to your friends you do this and you get into the handwriting tool and you can send really nice personalized messages to anyone that you know and you can just yeah it, it, it's like one of the best features in iMessage nah, bruh. so for the smaller phones um For the smaller devices like this, if I was to let's say I, I I'm in this thing and I'm typing on the keyboard, there's now a dismiss button, just like the iPad and the bigger ones, so I can get rid of the keyboard. In notification, there's a new alert style. So there's none, there's banners, which and alerts. So you know the ones that took up your whole entire display? Yeah. They only appear at the top. So they won't go away, but you can continue what you're doing. They don't interrupt everything. The best thing yet. So in Wallet now, when you're changing your pass and you push the information, it doesn't flip over. It does this. Interesting. Now in Apple Music, when you're listening to a song, let's just say we put on cringy song I can find, downloaded music. So let's say you're playing a song. There's now a dislike button. So now when you're in a web page, let's just say I go into my Safari. So now when you're adding a web page, let's say you're in Amazon, you, you push this link here, and when you go to print it, yeah, just continue printing a blank web page, you can do this and you can export to PDF. Isn't that like cool? You can export a web page to PDF. So now when you go into a message and you say happy birthday or Merry Christmas and send it, look what it does. It sends it with balloons. It will automatically send it with one of their new things, which is cool. So you know how this thing predicts things in the phone and stuff like it says maybe this person and now it does that in the iMessage app, but I can't really show that off. Now, there is a magnifier feature. So let's say we go into general accessibility. There's magna There's magnifier, so it's like this. So when you're in magnifier, I can be like, whoa, it's magnified. And then you've got heaps of features like change it to white and blue then like invert this Ooh, that's cool so it's the new magnifier feature and i actually like it so if you're running an app that's not optimized for ios 10 like it's running like 32 bit you get a notification saying it doesn't work fast anymore and you know what that's good to know now in music there's a thing called optimized storage so let's say we go into Apple Music. So let's say we go into Apple Music. We can go here to optimize storage. 
um and then like yeah it will remove songs that you haven't played in a while depending on how much you want to have at least storage which is good in the app store they've added the categories back instead of explore so you can go through all the categories which is much better than explore because no one used it oh in mail there's new filters so let's say you're in here and you go into these it's like filtered by unread and you can filter it by all of these so if i get an email saying where are you and i tap on here and i can put in my current location right there it's very clever predictive when you send a link it will um come up as a preview and if it's a video which I can't really show you. It's loading on here. You can actually play the video from inside the iMessage app. It's pretty good and doesn't take too long. And I believe you can only play it on the iPad. But I might be wrong. If you've got an image in iMessage, you can you can mark it up here. So you can draw on Im images in iMessage as well. When I show my own page, it comes up with a link of my icon. That's cool. And when you get a message, there's a new interface. So with the new interface, you can just be like, yeah, boy, and then like send it back. It's really cool. Boil, there we go. So it's, it's the cool new interface. In notification center, now let's say you're in an app and you hold it down this much to see the search and let go. You go into your app search, which you could only get into from doing that very very good back to the contacts app it actually has had a redesign so let's say i add this as a contact this is what it now looks like so it has a much like it hasn't been redesigned since ios 7. in safari and ios 10 you can open as many tabs as you want which is good you can also delete system apps here. See, they're all deletable, but they're just hidden because you can download them without internet. If you are in a mailing list in the mail app, you can push unsubscribe and it'll stop you from receiving emails from them again. So that was just a brief look on all the new features in iOS 10 that you now have. They, these are all hidden. I hope you enjoyed. This is like the longest video I've ever recorded. Ha! Huh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope I see you around later. This is Rise Over, and I'm signing out.